So I want to show you a trick with two coins. Uh, we got a copper coin, which is more specifically a British penny, and then a Walking Liberty half dollar, a third, I believe, of a troy ounce of silver. And so these can be examined by a spectator to their heart's content. They check it out, and then we begin the trick. So to begin, um, I ask a spectator, uh, are you right-handed or left-handed? And they say right-handed in this case. And then I uh, give them the coins. They close tight to it and turn their hands over, okay? So I'm gonna actually show them something interesting, but if I may, I'm gonna remove one coin. Let's just say we remove today the um, Walking Liberty half dollar, okay? And I say, okay, uh, and you can still feel the other coin in your hands, right? Okay, and so check this out. This is gonna be the craziest thing you're gonna see all day. I'm going to actually steal the copper coin from your hand without you even feeling it. Crazy, right? I'm gonna try this out uh, on the count of three, okay? One, two, and if I may, and I'll do it on the table since I have the context. Three, and now I have the copper coin. And then they open up their hands and they would see they have the silver coin. I'm Dan, and I hope you enjoyed my cop version of Copper Silver. <laughs> copper Silver, such, such, such a great trick and has such a high impact, which is why it's marketed and lasted so long through all the years. Just changing one coin from another under impossible conditions it's just seems crazy. And in my own version, I tried to streamline it, give it directness and impact. Apologies for the lack of spectator normally I would, but I'm batching all these episodes together. So one man army, hashtag. <laughs> uh, but with that said, it's just a, such a powerful routine. And I wanted to, in this video, actually include two changes. I only performed one change in the, vid uh, the performance, but I actually wanted to cover two changes that I think might get you excited about the routine. Uh, so credits real fast. <laughs> There's so many versions of it out there. Um, and from Bobo's all the way down, it'd be relentless to try and name all of them. Uh, Magic Trick Shop versions. There's just so many. But this is just a classic copper silver. And uh, some ideas I took, at least for the change, outside of my own experience from Magic Castle, the actual changes I got from uh, ideas I got from David Roth and Eric Jones. So I will credit them as well. So jumping into the routine explanation time, yay. Um, we have an extra coin. We have an extra Walking Liberty half dollar. Uh, no surprise there. <laughs> and we have it finger palmed at the very beginning of the routine. So what you can do in essence is literally have this in a coin sandwich. This is the e this is why people love this trick so much, especially if you do a non-gap version. And I mean, you could shell it and make it work, but there's just something about having a coin sandwich that makes it so great. So the coin sandwich is Walking Liberty, a copper coin, Walking Liberty, or vice versa, whichever is your preference. What we do is we uh, palm the Walking Liberty right here and you could also use half dollars, don't worry. And then from there, we have the other two coins. So as you bring these out, from you say, I got a trick for you. And then you bring the coins out. They can clank because there's still two coins would still clank. And so as you bring the coins up into view, so you pour out in front of your pocket, you bring them out into view, you lift up on two and bring forward two, uh, shading the one in finger palm, and then you just go right into the trick. It's so great. It's just basically impromptu. You just bring these coins and you're all set. Lovely, isn't it? And they never know the third one's in view uh, or in play. So uh, we hand those out. They can examine them and you just talk a little bit about them because these are odd coins. No one's really seen a Walking Liberty and it's like, why is it so cool and shiny and stuff? So you might have to talk about it for a couple seconds to get people into it. And then there's a copper coin, which is oddly the same size. Most people have never seen this. So again, also a talking point. So don't, you know, People have never seen this before, so you just want to inform them on what the, these coins are. So that said, um, what we're going to do is... Um, so with that said, we are going to uh, 
uh, go into the next bit. We or set up for the next bit rather. And what we do is we have the coin in uh, copper coin in front, uh, front, and above. I always forget this part, so I always have to fiddle with the coins for a second to remember the part. So this is actually kind of crucial. Let me actually turn sideways. Whatever, I just want to get the coins in view. Let's just go right here. So the copper coin is above and in front, and or in or towards us. And then the uh, Walking Liberty is in front towards the spectator and down. So it looks like so. Let's see if I can show it. Camera, hopefully I'm getting it. Yeah. So it's just this order. So we want this order, and I'm using my dominant hand with the finger palm coin right next to it. It just makes it easier for everything we need to do. So we got that. And the thumb is on the copper coin in this case because it's going to help facilitate the bubble switch and we're actually going to do a bubble switch but kind of sideways instead of necessarily down I mean you could do it really either way but uh, it's just a matter of preference um, so you could actually go down or sideways when you do it and the bubble switch is essentially again credit from modern coin magic thank you JB Bobo you're awesome as we have the thumb clipped on the upper coin we then make sure we toss both the finger palm and the lowermost coin retaining the upper one in the process. So it's like a bubble switch transfer thing uh, with an extra added coin. So again, I got the thumb on the coin so the copper coin stays. You toss the other two and then the copper coin will be right here hanging off looking like this. Hopefully it's in view. And then I just move it with the fingers into finger palm from there. So I'm going to try to slow it down the best I can. I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try for for my magic viewers. Okay. Go slowly, slowly, slowly. Thumb lets it go in. And it's shaded. You're wondering if you're wondering about the copper coin. It's pulled back and shaded by the fingers. Still hanging off. But right there. And then the thumb moves into finger palm. And the fingers curl and you relax. So in action, this is the main, this is the main setup. Oh, sorry, I actually had the finger, I did, already had it here. It was like a click pass on accident. I meant to do this. So, coin, 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 thumb on the, the copper coin, toss them, and you got right there, finger palm. Good. Okay. And now, what you essentially done is you put both uh, walking liberties set up perfectly into their hand, and then you would put, normally, it would go into their hand, you would tell them, excuse me, setting this out of copper coin for a second, they would close up their hand and then turn it over. Okay, and you would want to do that immediately. You just set in their hand, they could fill two coins, they close on up, turn it over, okay? If you do not turn it over, they will do this. Like 80% of the time, they just do it for no reason, it's terrible. Turn it over. <laughs> Hashtag nightmare experiences, okay. So, anyways, now that we've got that situation, we're set up with the copper coin in this hand. And then we say, but I also uh, I want to do one thing, if I may. I'm going to move one coin from your hand, okay, and see uh, to check it out or whatever. And I remove one coin, whatever your presentation is for that. And if I may, I just say, if I may, I'm going to remove one coin. And they only allow me to remove one coin. Okay, we got one coin out. And I say to them, what I'm going to do, uh, and depending on your presentation, it really... I actually had to stop the clip because I couldn't remember the presentation. I just say, okay, silver uh, walking liberty right here. Okay, you can feel the copper in your hand, right? And they go, yes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to, and you can either say, I'm going to get this coin to jump to your hand without you even feeling it. Or you can say, I'm going to steal out the coin in your hand without you even feeling it. Something to that nature. And without you even feeling it, it's like it makes it, your hand tighten and you really want to feel that coin you're like okay he can't do anything he hasn't done anything yet and we're building on up there's a presumption this is a copper coin and we do tell this is one of the few tricks i have an exception to where i might tell a little lie and just say and the copper coin in your hand which we all know is silver okay so uh we got that set up, situation set up they're going to do it and then I can, and then you are left to your own devices of which change you want to do to execute to finish off the routine. And then it goes from here to being a transposition. Boom. Look, a copper coin. Cool. 
So, um, you can do, you really could do a, like just a basic change, you know, clip, uh, like a spellbound move change if you want to learn that. Stars of Magic, clip, and then rub, and you can do that. You can do, um, you can do wave. You can do really like any change you want, any change you've always wanted to do. Um, what would I, what would I do? You can do, um, thumb clip as they described in uh, the Spellbound book. Boom. You can show... Um, there, there's many alternative options. I, I'm just trying to give some ideas for the two-handed if you just want to do two-handed. But in the case... And this, again, this coin will be in the Spectre's palm closed like this. But let's say we wanted to do a one-handed change. And for that, I offer two options. The first one is the uh, one-handed change kind of popularized by... David Roth. I'm not sure if this is actually David Roth, but I will credit him regardless for my for even for me advancing or doing anything of that nature to it. It's a great move. So I so from here, I show a coin. I let it fall into classic palm. Please do not let it clink against this coin right here. Okay, we want to avoid that. So we have it right here. So we show it, show it very boldly. Let it wiggle around. Yay! Then let it fall into the round the classic palm. And the, we have the, um, let me switch positions. I've done too many spellbound changes. We're actually right here. Okay, so now I'm corrected. We let fall, the silver coin fall right here. Okay. And then from here, um, and we got the shade covering. We're doing like a, I forget the name of this gesture. I'm going to remember. I just call it the, the gesture, um, oh, I forget the name. Popularized for Eric Jones. I'll just say popularized. Uh, poster child is <laughs> because it's such a great gesture I see Eric use a lot it's just so great so you're able to keep that copper coin hidden so this in this way and from a good angle pretty good dang good angle I'm able to showcase the coin very cleanly they don't see any copper coin uh, angles and they're all set up and I'm going to do the one hand change and that is to say and this really takes some practice uh, second, it's mostly done by the second, third finger. It's the same one that's palming the coin right here. So you might have to adjust which phalanges you do it on, the lower or the upper. I have longer fingers, so I'm able to do on the upper. And in this case, after you've displayed it, fingers, second, third fingers, push that coin to classic palm so that Walking Liberty is now in classic palm. And now uh, we've got the, the thumb on the uh, copper coin, and now it's all set up to be revealed all you do is you gently sit on the table you give it a little rub a little wave you have open fingers just don't go too low and flash this coin flash points are a big thing with classic palm okay a little wave i think you can tilt it a little bit just to give that ambiance and not flash there you go lift up not too high again if you don't want to flash this and you just you do that and then boom you got it you change it to copper and wait how do you get the copper out they open up and they see the silver and it's great so again one last time uh before we move on to the second change um show it okay let go into the palm and then i'll do one live live th uh of me doing it in real time so show it finger palm okay and we want to work also on windows we don't want to flash as we do this and flash this coin for any reason so Come in, and you could would you could do this while turning, so that that covers the motion of you. If there is windows, you need flashing. You can do this while turning. Okay, you set up, and then you just uh, do the wave, and then boom, you got a copper coin. Again, you have to be watchful on angles. If I'm standing, which I'm usually am, this has kind of been awkward for me because I'm usually doing a standing. I can actually do a very open view, watching my angles. I could do an open view, so you want to watch how much far you can go with this. And imagine the specter's looking down, you could do this view. And instead of actual magician fooler, magicians do not understand how you could do a one-handed change and look that clean. So that's that's always fooling to them. So they see it. Okay, clip as I'm turning, and then do the wave, and then boom. Uh, and then you got that, which is cool. Um, boom, boom. Looks just so amazing. That's how I would do it if I was standing. Or I could do it on the back of my hand. One-handed. Like a camouflage coin routine that I published also as well. Great trick. Um, so that is the first one. And I'll do it in real time. Just one last time before I move on.
okay. Um, got the coin. They got their setup. I said, I'm going to, you could just do this one handed. I'll, you could even mention if you're going to do the one handed version, you could just say, I'm going to do this one handed. Okay. Check it out. They can see one last flash if you want. And then you get a squeeze. And then, um, if you want, you could actually uh, go on the table and just give a wave and change it. If you're standing, you can push it up to your fingertips and give it a blow. And then watch it change. And it changes. And then you could do a casual display one or two. I know it's much harder here because I'm on a lower playing field and I can flash. But up here, looks great. Toss it over in my other hand. They see it. And everything looks fair. No one's going to accuse this hand. And then they check out. I even point to their hand with this dirty hand. Hey, check out your hand. Check, uh, check out your thing. They're trying to examine your other hand to check the classic palm area. You can switch it to finger palm. So I covered every single scenario out there <laughs> to make sure you, there's no reason you shouldn't be performing this wonderful classical feat. And then, boom, you got it. Boom, you're all set. Clean up, pop and put away. As for the second change, I know everyone's been wanting the second change. So it's the blow change, which I taught previously, but. You know, why not overview it real quick for this uh, wonderful routine. So they got the silver coin. We have the uh, same situation. Silver coin here. And then um, exact same position. We started the exact same way. We got the copper coin right here. And I just want to mimic actually blowing on the coin and it changing right as I'm blowing on it. That was what I was aiming for, for when I do this. And I'll actually do it a couple times in motion uh, for you. And then boom, changes. Uh, I know that sounds a little bit crazy, so let me try it again. And it changes. And again, I can do it again. <laughs> it's so great. It's one-handed. Excuse the sound on that one. Let me, let me try it again. And yeah, looks great. Looks amazing. And actually, is used using an, you actually use inertia to do it, which is crazy. So we're viewing this real fast if I'm... I'm allowed. <laughs> uh, I've already done crediting the previous video and all that stuff, so I think we're pretty much good to just go into it. Uh, David Roth, credit him. Eric Jones, credit him. Let's do the move. Um, to do the move, uh, we have it up in fingertips, first, second finger, and thumb. The, the other coin is in the finger palm, as we said. And then as we come up to the mount to blow on the coin, um, we go in with the first finger, second finger. Let the coin in, thumb palm. Okay. Again, I independently created this. I've never seen anyone do something like this before. So I have it in thumb clip. Then I use my thumb to push forward on the coin. And as it pushes forwards on the coin, the natural and uh, the natural inertia and everything will just let the coin fall from finger palm. Uh, sorry, from thumb palm out of thumb palm, and it'll naturally fall into finger palm, which is even crazier. And if it doesn't, you can do micro adjustments to get it there. I'm like, holy crud, that's crazy. Like, just they could happen that way. Look at, look at it. It's so crazy. So I just, I can do it from the back end. Hopefully I can do it from the back end so you can see it. So, goes into thumb palm. Fingers push it out. And it pushes out. If you angle down as you, then you come up, the coin will naturally come down in your finger palm. You can micro adjust with this part of your thumb to back to finger palm then you can use your second and third fingers to close in on it and secure in finger palm and then this guy this coin is out with the first finger and thumb and then you can just rotate it like this and it looks natural it just really looks all controlled one handed again uh if i may thumb clips produces it lets it fall into the fingers right here hopefully you can see this and then we twirl it like so it happens all in a great motion so it's just surprising that it works and that you can use this like you ever want to show someone cool something cool hey check this out you just got work on the watching the sound let me let me try it again my apologies so let me try it again looks like this you could even do it slow, and it looks even better slower. And it actually comes out better that way. It looks really, really nice. And yeah, that's a blow change. Uh, it's 
excuse the crude references that people might make. I really just thought if I was to get a coin and I was just to blow it from one to another, that's what it would look like. I just think it looks amazing. So, um, that is the main stuff. And then, again, you know the cleanup. You know how everything works. Uh, it's just copper silver is just an amazing amazing routine and it's just really gets the it's that trick that gets the reactions you always wanted with the simplicity of ease and i just really wanted to tap my take at it streamline on streamline the routine make the spectators feel great and create that impossible moment and uh you can throw in two one-handed changes in there how to change the coin one-handed so you can actually perform for a variety of situations so with that said I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. And I think this video is worth a like. Don't you think so? And if you haven't checked out this video or this video yet, definitely check them out. And I will see you in the next one.